lost your virginity. Was your father still alive or was he passed already? Um, no, I actually lost my virginity two years after I quit the softball team, um, which was when I was about 18. Okay, your father was still alive. Oh, no, he was passed, I'm sorry. Okay. So, do you feel as if when your father passed, your mom started noticing or assuming that you gained weight after he passed and you started wanting attention from other men? I don't want you to keep sounding like everyone else because I see where you're going with this. You're just going to blame it on because my father. I'm just, I'm just asking you, I'm not saying. But, like, what you don't understand, mm -hmm. first of all, mm -hmm. is I'm, like, don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to be with him, I'm not trying to get anything, but you don't even know me like that. Yeah. And I understand you're just, like, you know, writing your little shit on the paper. But, like, honestly, I mean, we talked about my father a little bit, and mm -hmm. I said I didn't want to talk about it, but you keep breaking it up, so I'm just going to... Close it out for you. I'm just gonna let you know that it's not because of him. Whatever I do is because I want to do it. Mm -hmm. And if anyone has a problem with that, they should just address me about it. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. And if I say I don't want to talk about it, then I don't want to talk about it. So at this point on, I don't want to talk about it. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. So what do you do on a normal, normal day? What do you and do? you know, I like you. Thank you. So don't just don't fuck it up. Okay. That's it. So what do you like doing on a normal day? <sighs> Just give me one second because I swear like all this shit is like <sighs> What's going through your mind right now? You know, like it's so aggravating because Like, there's nothing there that makes me feel good mm -hmm. at home. Okay. There's food. Now they wanna, want they wonder why I want to gain weight. Because I eat. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you fucking eat food, you're going to gain weight. Mm -hmm. I understand. I completely understand. So you feel as if they're putting too much food in the house? No. I feel like... They want to talk about lack of love, lack of this, lack of that. Who is that lack of love coming from? The only thing my mom worries about is going to work and trying to date. First of all, you're trying to date, but you're not over my dad. How are you trying to do that? Second of all, I'm getting the kind of love I need from these men because I know that they love me. They love me kind of like my father used to love me. Obviously not in the same sense because I didn't have a sexual relationship with my father, but I know that they're there for me. When I need some kind of drug, if I need it, they have it for me. Yeah. Like, they're there. So you feel that your mom is too busy for you. Okay. Okay. And you don't like the fact that your mom is out seeking new men? New men. Yeah, that's dumb. And have you ever spoke about this with your mom? I don't know, so I haven't spoken about it. Okay. And how has your relationship with your siblings changed? Huh? How has your relationship with your siblings changed? Um, like, They're so dumb because every guy that my mom brings home, they call him dad. How are you replacing dad? And who calls the man dad? Is it your two younger siblings or your older siblings? My older um, brother, he doesn't live with us, but um, my two younger siblings. But one of them, she's 18. 
He was driving. We stopped at we stopped at a McDonald's mm -hmm. and we wanted to eat. Mm -hmm. I said, Dad, you can let me drive. Mm -hmm. He goes, No. told me just to drive according to the speed limit. Okay. So he's eating and I'm driving. And although I didn't have a license, mm -hmm. because obviously, yeah, 14 years old, I mean, but we were so close that he taught me how to drive mm -hmm. since the age of like 13. Um, but like, out of nowhere, and I promise you it's not my fault, but out of nowhere, just like, this car just came, and it was just coming on so fast that I just took the wheel, and when I turned the wheel, that close so the car just it's okay it's okay if it, you feel like it's too much you don't you don't have to discuss it and um no one knows but you well I tried to um <clears throat> I tried to let um my mom know about what actually happened mm -hmm. and that's when we kind of just lost sort of communication just because she figured I took something that was valuable to her. So, so she's not going to forgive me for that. So, correct me if I'm wrong, what you're saying is that your mom's blaming you for <coughs> your father actually passing away. Yeah. Okay. And you guys, from that day on, you guys' relationship 